let me show you the last thing, which is the parenter. And essentially that's a thing which parents you under <laughs> which parents you under certain certain coordinate system when you collide with it or when you are inside of the volume. So you can use it like for example to parent inside nice. of vehicles. Uh, or you can even you can use it like to parent on a on a surface that's for example change. So let's for example take uh, let's take this one. So I'll use this one. So I, let's say I want to make it spin, and I want and I want you to get parented when you jump on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another box collider because I need I need the existing box collider for the collisions. So let's do mm -hmm. box collider, physics colliders, box collider. Let's set this to trigger. Let's also copy the size. And let's attach a new component. So there's locomotion, interaction, char character parenter. And you see there's just uh, this few options. There's uh, some, you can also set fit filters. So for example, you can say only parent, only parent when, uh, when like the relative direction, like upwards direction is smaller than this angle. So for example, when they are like tilted, it won't parent them. So which is good like for surfaces. Or I can just say must be on ground. So it won't parent you if you, for example, collide with it from side, but it'll parent you if you are standing on it. So let's use this. And also make it a spin so we can so it can become apparent that you are parented. So let's go drivers, spinner. Spinner, and let's make it spin along this axis, for example. <laughs> yeah, hard mode, there you go. <laughs> Hello. He's actually moving with it because he's standing oh, wow. on it. And if I stand on it, oops. If I stand on it, you, you get parented. Uh, that, that is crazy. Uh, <laughs> and if you jump, that is the cool thing. Like if you jump off, it actually works pretty well with the other feature. That, um, I can wall run now. Is. Huh. Huh. This works pretty well with the other feature, which is that like uh, it auto aligns you with the floor. So like when you jump on it, it aligns you like so your rotation is now aligned with the coordinate space of this. Yeah, I I noticed that when I jump off onto the platform below, it automatically orients me to yes. that floor. That's yes. really nice. Huh. Essentially, every time like, it orients you under, essentially it's, think okay. about it this way: like, uh, like uh, it's it's your frame of reference. It's it's like whichever way is down is determined under which object you are. So because we are we are part of this object now. Yeah. See, that's that's better. Yeah, so that's essentially, English like, language our down, terminology. Our down is w whatever is like the relative down direction of this object. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like I know I know what it means, but I know the average viewer won't. So yeah. I gotta I gotta help make sure. Can you jump off? They get the layman's terms. We <laughs> this cup, and we'll turn it into a a balloon. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Yes. Ooh. Well, you we'll use this. Let's also make it transparent. Okay. And just look. Right, so, so, so like <laughs> we, we can we can see inside. There we go. Okay. So let's yes. we, we we want to make it like so this. Uh, let's actually do another thing. Let's enable this. Let's make this into a character collider. So now if you, you can actually jump, inside of it. But try moving it when I'm inside. See, so it doesn't it doesn't really really like. It doesn't really move. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't it move with you. So essentially, what we right. want to do is we want to put a trigger there. So essentially, when they are inside, they become part of the coordinate space of this of this object. So I'm going to use. Okay. I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use a cylinder, which I think will best approximate the shape. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to put a cylinder in here that'll basically trigger the uh, you being 
So essentially, as, as long as you are inside the volume of this cylinder, you will be part of the coordinate space of this cup. First, I see. let's actually parent it, so the cylinder itself. So we have the steroid node. As the curve blend. So let's parent it under the root. So the cylinder will be part of this. Let's also make it so it's no longer grabbable. There we go. So now it is part, it is now part of the cup. Now we can configure the cylinder to be a trigger. So let's change it to trigger. As also, we don't actually need to see the cylinder, so we can just uh, disable, or can it look completely? We can completely get rid of the mesh renderer. So it's technically mm -hmm. still there. Like so it's still there. The physical representation yeah. of it is there, but the visual is not. So let's attach a new component. Let's attach the uh, parenter. So let's go to locomotion, interaction, character parenter. And this is pretty much all that we need to do. So now essentially when you are inside, if you jump inside, you'll okay. become parented under this. Okay, so now I should be parented. Go, I'll, go I'll, I'll, uh, I'll move you around. Okay. Yes. There we go. <laughs> up, up and away. Yeah. And there I can, you go. And I can jump out of it. And you see, like, uh, when, when I leave the cylinder, when I leave the cylinder, I no longer move together. So it unparents me. Okay. Can you nice. try one more thing? Can you... Wait, can I show it uh, yes. with you? So can, can, can one of you jump inside the cup? There All we right, go. let's let's fly away. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Consider. There we go. So you can see, I can I can even like rotate. Here we it. go. No. So I can I cannot I cannot even shake. <laughs> yeah, I'm, ex I'm expecting to fall down. So I can move you around. You are you are, I, you are can... part of this. But can you okay. jump? I, okay, I'll, I'll try to land on my feet. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect ten. Yes. It's actually pretty cool. Let's try jumping into the cup. Oh, yes. So if I jump into this thing, it'll yes, parent me there, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> wow. That's neat. That's I'll, pretty I'll, cool. I'll, I'll Jackson, once there. Oh, I fell through the floor and got launched. <laughs> there we go. Bam. Try jumping out. Oh, it's too small. Mm. You're too small. Oh. 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 Wait, can I capture you? Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> I've yes, you got you. me. I've captured you. <laughs> okay. Try jumping out now. Yeah. There we go. In the sense of space, you could have ships that come along. I can scoop you up. <laughs> if you have a larger ship or a celestial body in some kind of space scene in zero gravity, you could have it come in and collide and scoop oh, yes. somebody up. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm large now. But in general, like you can even like make it like so when, you, when you when you enter a spaceship and the spaceship is moving, you start moving with the spaceship. If you jump out of the spaceship, you know, you are no longer part of the ship and you just start falling normally. So you can use this like to enter yes. a large. You can use this to enter a large vehicle, and you essentially be part of the vehicle as long as you are inside of the volume of the of the trigger.